Girl, how did you forget you're on your period? <sighs> really? Hey guys, it's Sharon. So last time we talked about our horrible, most embarrassing, worst prom stories ever, and you know, why stop there? Why not talk about our worst, most just horrific first dates? Because as we all know, first dates can be so, so awkward. It's your first time alone with this person, and it's supposed to be so romantic, and like sometimes life just doesn't work like that, and sometimes it generally just sucks, and it goes really awkward, and that's what we're gonna do. Talk about those awkward and crappy moments, and you know, embrace them, because it's life, and life comes with some crappy stories sometimes and that's okay you know you live and you learn and you laugh at other people's stories to make us feel better about our own crappy stories <laughs> if you guys do want to see more videos like this I have a bunch more on my channel feel free to check them out give us a thumbs up if you want to see more and of course comment down what you want to see next also follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can be shout out of the week and you can get a say in what my next video will be and for that next video you know if you want to see it you like gotta subscribe so you're around to see it just saying but enough about that let's go into these embarrassing first date stories and be great that these things did not happen to us. Things are about to get T-E, that's not an adjective, juicy. Things are about to get juicy. <laughs> he threw his plate on the floor and left. All I said was I wanted to choose my own food. Let him leave, sis. You're an independent woman who don't need a man telling you what to eat. I don't understand why he got so upset though. Who hurt him? Why is he like this? Mine's kind of sad and funny at the same time. So this guy asked me out and I liked him so I said yes, but when I got to his house, there were two other girls fighting. It turns out he asked them out too but he didn't know we would all be there on the same day I love you so much too guess what life came back around and bit this boy in the butt and he kind of deserved it because he's a Joey so once my crush asked me to the movie I was so excited so I put on my cutest white jeans and a crop top white jeans we already know where this is going we got to the movies and we both got ices and popcorn on our way up the stairs to our seats I fell and spilled the icy all over me he just laughed Aww. and we went on with our date later he tried to kiss me during the movie but I didn't notice and I was eating popcorn so I spit popcorn on him. Also on top of that when the movie was over we stood up left and he was like Emma you have blood on your pants. I go to the bathroom and saw my period all over my white pants. I thought I would never talk to him again but now we've been dating for two years. Oh see I love these stories. A lot of times we don't get this happy ending. A lot of times we don't get a happy ending in general because like life sucks sometimes but you know then this happens and you're like there's faith. It doesn't always suck. Good things like this can happen even though they were really happy that's not the point I'm very happy for you this is a real man this is what we all need this is the opposite of a Joey we love we stand we support invite us all to your wedding please my friend was on a date at a nice restaurant with her crush and apparently the crush has dated before the ex was at the place she stormed over and threw soda at both of them p.s. I love you too listen my issue with this is it's none of the ex's business baby he's your ex for a reason it's over why are you spilling soda on him but more importantly why are you spilling soda on this poor innocent girl? She doesn't know who you are. Mm -mm. If you're gonna take it out on your ex, take it out on your ex, not the person they're dating. Unless your ex cheated on them with you, then that's a different story. But like, still, homegirl was innocent. She did not deserve that. Justice for this girl. One time, I went on a double date with my boyfriend and his two friends who were dating. One boy, one girl. We pulled up to the restaurant and we took our orders. We all finished eating and my boyfriend and his friends split the bill and I paid the most amount. Why? Later did I figure out that my boyfriend was cheating on me with that same girl on the double date her boyfriend was just as surprised as I was apparently my boyfriend paid her to hook up with him so I didn't think he was cheating I'm confused oh did he pay her to go out with his best friend to make it look like he wasn't cheating because then that would make sense if not my head hurts I had a period on a date with my crush we went to a restaurant and he brought me to his house we started to get dirty ooh. and I oh and I forgot about my period. He licked my, you know? And when he looked at me, his face was red. I kind of laughed. After that, I never saw him again. To be honest, if I was him, you would have probably never seen me again either because that is the most disgusting and mortifying thing ever. And normally, I would have been like, girl, how do you forget you're on your period? But like, I get it, you were in the moment. But like, also, girl, how did you forget you're on your period? That is the most painful thing a woman ever experiences other than like childbirth. But like, I don't know, I haven't had a kid. But that's not the point. How do you you forget 
forget that. So in eighth grade, my friend was dating this bisexual guy and they went on a date to a theme park. The guy shouted over to her boyfriend and said, I still love you. She was super confused until she got a closer look and seen it was her ex from seventh grade who was also bisexual, who had cheated on her and was now shouting that he still loved her boyfriend. Then she realized that the guy her ex-boyfriend was cheating on her with was her current boyfriend. What kind of a telenovela is this and where can I watch it? Can you please submit this to some writers? This needs to be made into an original series on Netflix. I would watch it. I love you too. Also, yeah, never date a Joey and maybe there's a female Joey out there. A joey -a. That was so bad. I got a nosebleed. It was dark though, so we didn't notice for a good 10 seconds until I pulled away and saw that I was kissing what looked like a murder victim. Slow down, Ted Bundy. <laughs> bad joke. It started off with my crush asking me on a date to the movies. I was in ninth grade, so I said yes. I met him at the movies. He brought me flowers and chocolate. That is so cute. In the middle of the movie, as we were about to kiss, I farted on accident and excused myself to go to the bathroom. When I came back, he was gone. He never called me again. P.S. I love you too. Also, you just dodged the world's biggest bullet. I'm like, oh, this guy's so cute. Chocolate and flowers. I'm rooting for him. And then he left because he farted as if he's never farted in his life. Humans fart. That's a thing. What a hypocrite. I hope he farts every day, every minute for the rest of his life because that's not cool. I went on Tinder one day and I was talking to this guy. His name was Nathan and he was really sweet. Then he asked me out on a date and we went to this really fancy restaurant and it was really exquisite. Is that is that the word? Is that a word? I forgot English right now. The only thing was I was wearing a white dress and I was on my period. So we're talking and it went really well. Then I felt something dripping down my leg. So I excused myself and went to clean myself up. When I got back, there was a note on the table that said, that was disgusting. Don't talk to me again. You're paying. To this day, I'm traumatized about dating anybody and fear that they'll judge me. P.S. I love you too. Also, excuse me? Nathan is a piece of trash. Nathan just might be the new Joey. Are you kidding me? If any guy ever said that to me or stopped dating me for that reason, just whatever, I would honestly like murder him in my sleep because I'm not actually going to kill someone, but rude. Hello, you came from a woman, so do not disrespect women. Thank you so much. Two, you can't help a period. Wow. Forget him. Trash. You don't need him. My friend went on a date with one of her guy friends shortly after a breakup. He seems like a nice guy, but on their first date, she woke up to find pee all over her. He literally peed on her on their first date. Okay, so they went back to someone's place for their date and she woke up in a pile of his pee. What is he, a baby? A man baby? Ew. I think that friendship might have been a little bit um, ruined. <laughs> the guy almost killed me. Oh, okay. T T Ted Bundy. I like how there's no context to this. It's just, well, he almost killed me. I've been together with my boyfriend for three years and four months and we've never had a first date. This is the worst first date story. Not having one but having a boyfriend. We've never been anywhere. What do you guys do? <laughs> Not to be dramatic or anything, but what? Is this long distance? Why don't you guys do something? I'm so confused. Who needs love when you have fries? Fries before guys. Did I write this? Basically, we went to my house and he said he was gonna go get a snack. He took ages, so I went to the kitchen Turns out he was banging my mom. They were both naked and my mom says, and I quote, hey honey, what do you want? Bearing in mind, she is on the kitchen counter and I'm so freaking peed off because they are now married and I'm going to have a new stepsister? I love you too. And remember, all men are Joey's. Maybe not all men, but this guy is definitely a Joey. And now that Joey's about to be your stepdad, what the heck? This is another telenovela. Like, guys, you have some great original series ideas right here. Like, honestly, turn this heartache into millions. <laughs> we went to a restaurant and he went to the bathroom. He was gone for about 20 minutes, so I knew he had left me with the bill. And when I got home, I tracked him. Girl, that's a little bit crazy to do. He was at Jessica's house, his ex. And two weeks later, he posted on Instagram that Jessica was pregnant with his baby? <gasps> Let's just say all boys are Joey. Maybe not all boys, but this boy, also another Joey. P.S. I love you too. That's crazy. Normally I would say, don't track your significant other. That's crazy. There should be trust in this relationship, but you had every right to do so, you know? So this isn't my story, but it's my grandma's. She was on her first date with a boy and he took her to McDonald's. She got her food and they went to sit down. She went to open the ketchup packet with her teeth and the ketchup flew up her nose. Her date was afraid to laugh, but she thought it was hilarious. Later on, they got married and then they had four children and one of the four had me. At least he didn't break up with her because now I have two amazing grandparents. 
I love you too. This is so cute. This is my favorite story. Wow, this is goals right here. I am so single. Well, I went on Tinder and found a guy that I thought was cute. Then when I met him, it was not the same dude on Tinder. It was my grandpa trying to cheat on my grandma. Long story short, they got a divorce and my grandpa hates me for telling her and my grandma is proud of me for telling the truth. So it's pretty awkward going to either of their houses. Honestly, team grandma. That's gonna be a conference today. Hashtag team grandma. It's just so crazy that we just went from one story where it's like the grandparents are like happily in love and then you got this. One, I'm amazed that your grandpa figured out how to use Tinder. We gotta give him some credit at least. My dad doesn't even know how to text me, but we love your grandma. She deserves a king. And sorry, but grandpa ain't it. Ooh, this one is long, so this has to be juicy. So, my friend set me up with this guy who soon after picking me up, he asked if he could use my bathroom. He must have had an extremely upset stomach because he was in there for at least 20 minutes. That is so awkward. My apartment was small and the bathroom was adjacent to my living area, so unfortunately, I could hear everything that went on in there and it was so gross. Once it came out, the smell was indescribable. The people in the hall could probably even smell it. Ew! Okay, listen. I'm gonna pause right there. If this happened to me while I was going on a date with someone, I would not be going on that date. I'd be like, you know what? Suddenly I don't want to do this anymore. Goodbye. You know where the door is. Peace out. Imagine going to pick up someone for their first date and just like exploding in their bathroom. Anyways, I pretended like nothing had happened. Bless your heart. I could never. And we went out. He took me to some random restaurant and told me I couldn't order anything more than $15 off the menu? He's stinky and cheap? Drop him. I started to order and he stopped me asking the waitress if there was a cheaper similar item on the menu. She was baffled. B, me too. When the check came, I insisted I pay for mine after what he pulled. Instead of just letting it be, he also asked if I could put the bottle of wine on my bill. That was my first and my last date. What a horrible first impression for your first time dating anyone. I am so sorry. Literally, this is like the worst person you could have ever dated. Like, ew. We don't need him, sis. We don't. Stinky, cheap, and rude. Bye. So one time, my crush asked me to a movie and I said yes. At the end of the movie, we went to the mall to walk around. After the mall, we took an Uber home and first the Uber driver tried to kidnap us. And then when I finally got home, he kissed me and it was so bad. But you almost got kidnapped. What? <laughs> and the kiss was bad. That's just the cherry on top. My my crush, who doesn't know I'm crushing on him, set me up with his cousin for a blind date to a fine restaurant. The guy was cool and fine, but then he told me to pay for my own food, so it doesn't look like a date to his actual girlfriend, who was our waitress at the time. Worst thing is his girlfriend, the waitress, paid for his bill too? Cheapskate. Yes, he is sending love to South Africa. Wow, are you kidding me? One, did your crush not know his cousin had a girl? Also, why is she with him? We don't need this. So we were we were at his house and his cousin was there and we were watching a movie. That's a weird first date. Like you're on a date with a guy and his cousin? Why? His cousin was in his sister's room. Oh. He left for chips and as he was taking forever, I went to his sister's room to hang. I opened the door and there he is. His cousin was giving him head. They were laying down both naked. Oh, so that's why his cousin was there. Awkward. Why are we, why is this a thing? In every video, why do we go after our cousins? That's so gross. So we're gonna end it with this one. I'm too young for that stress. Baby, me too. Not even that young, but I'm still too young for that stress. Let's just say I'm happy I am not dating anyone. I've not been on dates because this, I just, I can't. I feel like after this, I'm like, I'm never going on another date ever again. And I haven't even had bad stories like this. No, thank you. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys thought the worst story was. And if you have your own, go ahead and comment them down and let's just cry a little bit about our crappy love lives because I don't really know what else to do, you know? Anyways, if you guys do want to see more, definitely subscribe for more and give us a thumbs up. Shout out of the week goes to Cole and you are Cole Cunningham on Instagram. Thank you so much. If you guys do want to be shout out of the week, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Just saying. But anyways, all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.